Hi guys, today we're talking about refraction and total internal reflection. In this problem, Billy and Tom decide to hit up the local swimming pool. Billy, knowing that Tom is somewhat of a ladies man, decides to bring an underwater laser pointer just in case his buddy tries to show off his fancy diving moves to impress the ladies. It's not long before Tom is impressing the ladies with his skills and Billy decides to teach him a lesson in humility. So Billy points his laser at a 33 degree angle with respect to the normal. He, be, he believes it will then refract, hitting Tom square in the eye, teaching him a lesson in humility. So this problem is asking at what angle is his laser refracted with respect to the normal and also what angle would he have to point to achieve total internal reflection. Alright, so for this problem we are going to be using Snell's Law. And Snell's law of refraction says n1 times sine theta 1 is going to equal n2 times sine theta 2. Um, so n is going to be our index of refraction uh, of a medium that we're using. And in this case, the first one's going to be water because we're going from water to air. Uh, so n of water is going to equal 1.33. The n of air is going to equal one. Point zero zero. All right. So the n one of water is one point three three. So we say one point three three times our sine theta. In this case, it's going to be thirty three degrees because he is pointing it. Theta one is going to be thirty three degrees. He's pointing it at a thirty three degree angle with respect to the normal. Okay. Uh, so thirty three is going to equal in 2 and so the index of refraction of air is 1.0 so we say 1.00 times sine theta 2 All right. so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw this on this side and rewrite it and we get 1.33 uh, divided by our 1.00 and I know that's just going to turn out to be 1.33 I'm just kind of showing you how it's set up here though times our sine of 33 is going to equal our sine of theta 2 however we need to get theta 2 by itself uh, so to do that to do that, what we do is we just take the inverse of sine and we are going to put this in the parentheses uh, and that's going to equal our theta. Okay, So we say uh, sine, the inverse of sine and then we put the, the information into these parentheses times sine of 33 and that is going to give us our angle and in this case when you put in your calculator you will get a 46.4 degree angle and that's going to equal theta 2 so Tom is getting hit at 46.4 degrees uh, with respect to the normal alright so for part 2 uh, what angle would you have to point to achieve total internal reflection? And what that means is basically what's going on is when he points it, um, the angle is going to be so great that it will not shine out of the air and it, it will then kind of reflect uh, back down into the water. So it'll look something kind of like that. Uh, the angles might be a little bit off, but it's going to look something kind of like that. And for that, uh, what you're going to use is uh, this equation, but instead we're equaling the N2 part, uh, the second side, and we are going to be using a theta of 90 degrees, okay? And we know that sine of 90 equals 1, right? So you can rewrite this equation to say N... Uh, N1 times sine theta 1 is going to equal 
into. Alright, so when we do that, let's write this over here. We've got uh, N1, which we said was uh, 1.33 times our sine of theta 1, and we don't know that. This is what we are trying to figure out what angle you would have to point to achieve total internal ref reflection. All right. So sine theta 1 is going to equal N2, which is 1.00. So this time, we take this 1.33 and we throw it over here on this side. Alright. Uh, go like that. Alright. So we get 1.00 divided by 1.33 is going to equal our sine uh, theta 1. And remember to get this theta by itself, we're going to have to take the inverse of sine. So then you get sine of negative 1, and we take our 1 over our 1.33, and you get 48, 48.8 degrees with respect to the normal. So if you were to point this at 48.8 degrees uh, with respect to the normal, he would have a beam that would not go out of the water uh, and instead we would have total internal reflection. Now it's important to note for total internal uh, reflection that N1 has to be greater than N2. Uh, for this to happen, for you to use this equation, uh, the index of refraction of N1 has to be greater than N2. Anyhow, I uh, hope that video helped, and I'll see you guys later.